These are some of my absolute favorite moves, so I hope you enjoy them as well. We're gonna go all the way down. Knees are bent. Good, so we're gonna do a set of organs in place on the ground. Before we do that though, just have your arms straight down, palms down. I wanna do a couple of roll-ups all the way and roll-ups all the way down. Get connected to your spine, all right? So I want you to first inhale. Let's allow us to have a big arch in that lower back. So with the inhale, we're first down, feel your tailbone. Then on the exhale, you're gonna to start to bring that back. It'll come to neutral and then tip from that lowest vertebrae and roll up. See if you can feel every vertebrae on the way up. Good, so now you'll be kind of up onto your shoulders. The chin will tuck. Press those hips up towards the sky. Keep your knees in alignment. Try not to bring them out. Thanks, Ange, good work. And hold there for a second. That's very strengthening. Now we're gonna slowly release down from the top vertebrae. I want you to go slowly. See if you can feel each vertebrae, keeping the knees right in alignment. There might come a point where you drop down in chunks. Just notice there might be a place where you just can't feel right behind that belly button, lower back. And then just come all the way back to a neutral place. All right, nice. Now from here, I want you to, from there, tuck under and lift, but you're only lifting to the bottom of the rib cage. So it's a really nice tucked under slant. And just put your hands on that lower belly, keep the knees right in alignment. That's the tricky part, they wanna open. And with that nice tilt, you'll notice that already with gravity, all the guts and the organs and all the parts are already starting to come up underneath your rib cage. So let's take our fingertips in front of that left hip bone, kind of in that, in that indentation, use your hands to kind of wiggle that to the center of your body towards the belly button and then pull everything up. Just do the best that you can. Relax your upper body, keep the tilt, pull that belly button to the spine and then just release that. Pull it into the spine and release one more time. Pull it back down to the spine. And when I say release, don't push out. You just release. Now we're going to put those fingertips on that inside of the right hip bone. Push, use the fingers to push everything in. Bottoms, like the pinky side of your hand, then it goes down and pulls it all up. You're going to press that belly button back to the spine and release it. Pull it back and release it. Let's go now down right in front of that, that pubic bone. Push with the fingertips and wiggle it all up. Now you're gonna feel like every organ you have down there is up under your the rib cage, hand holds it. Pull the belly button down to the spine and release it. So that's the tighten release part. Tighten means pull that belly in and then just release. Now as you're holding there, you're gonna do some little drop the tail but you still have a tuck. In other words, don't allow that tailbone to draw out. You're still tucked. So you're drawing it up and drop. Tuck up and drop. Tilt up and drop. Do a tilt up and drop. Two more. Ooh, I'm feeling this in my booty. Anybody else? Drop. Tuck and lift. Pause there. And then from right underneath the rib cage, one vertebrae at a time. See if you can set it down. Now, Right there, see if you can press from the belly button down, no air space underneath your back, even if you have to pull your hands there. If you have a very big arch there, you can always, you don't have to stop now, you can always put a towel there so you have something to press down. Lift one leg, that knee, hip and knee in a straight line. Can you still feel no air space? Then lift the other one, no air space. Arms are down. Let's put our arms down, palms down, shoulders down. Feel no air space. Slowly drop, touch one toe to the ground. No air space. Bring it back up. This is so strengthening for your lower belly. Drop the other one. Toes. Press the no air space. And back up one more time each side. Drop. Press. And drop. So that's what we've got to keep is no air space. Beautiful work there. Now, Bring your arms, give me a bare cloth, twist those thumbs to the side and over. So before we go anywhere, you're pressing no air space, press your shoulders down in the ground and elbows, back of head, 
everything is tight there. Nice. Now, open the knees to about the outside of your shoulders. Press no airspace. Then from that lower belly, can you lift the tailbone, knees to pinkies? Now bring the legs back out where there's no airspace. Let's bring the knees and feet together. Press there, press no airspace. Open, push the elbow, shoulder, lower belly, lift. And back, no airspace. So if you bring those knees out, if you want more strengthening, you bring the knees further away from the torso. Press together, open, press in and lift. You're not lifting the upper body at all. Beautiful, one more time, bring it in, open, press, lift, and back. Good work. Now from here, let those knees just open. Oh, just let them open out to the side so you get a stretch on that inner thigh. Beautiful. From that point, go ahead and let the knees go towards the floor till your pinkies touch. You're out in that wider position because you want your heels in alignment with your butt bones. So that looks good, you guys. Feel with the shoulders down and the elbows. So we're gonna go into ladybug stretch and I like to do it with the breath. So inhale first into your belly and on the exhale, I want you to press your shoulders, top of arms, back of head. So you're pressing the upper body gently. Hold that press as you inhale again. Exhale now, press the lower back in the ground. You might notice that your tail tips up a little bit. You'll feel it more on the outside thigh, holding that. Inhale. On the exhale, you're holding all that. And now I want you to press your last three toes in the ground. Ooh, is feeling that in the hips? Yes, beautiful. Now, holding that, keep holding it. Take your right knee and bring it up to the ceiling. So you're just bringing that one up. Then you're gonna press that right shoulder elbow in the ground to bring that knee up towards your shoulder. Beautiful, now you're gonna take that right elbow, push it in the ground to bring that knee across the body. Keeping the right shoulder on the ground, once you're there, relax and let the weight of that knee stretch you out. It's a beautiful spine stretch. Now you're gonna take that right leg and little pulses up towards that left um, palm. So that's a little lymph pump there. Excellent, you guys. Now take that top leg and I want you to straighten it and reach it out. The top leg will be about the middle of the bottom leg calf. And I want you to feel like somebody's pulling you. You're getting as much space for rib to hip as you can. Then bend it back up like you had it. Now, one thing I have found that makes a difference in what I feel is I tend to have my knee up and my ankle below my knee. So I don't get nearly the same amount as if I think in this position, press my knee down and my ankle up. Woo! There's the place, right? Now I'm going to take that knee, I'm gonna to start to drop it down towards the other foot. And I'm gonna, with my top foot, I'm gonna feel around for my bottom foot. And when I feel that, I'm gonna go right to the right of that and put the big toe ball joint down. I'm gonna push that foot in the ground I'm gonna tuck under and then lift my knee a little bit just to get a stretch in that hip. And then one, two, three, let it go. Good work. Now I'm gonna press that big toe ball joint in and I'm gonna let that knee come up and over. And I might adjust that foot so I'm back in that starting position. Notice where you're at. Relax it down for a second. Elbows are there. Let's inhale, exhale. Press shoulders, top of arm and head. Good, keep that hold, inhale. Exhale, press lower back. Good work, inhale. Keep all that, then press the last three toes. And with that, press the left elbow in to bring the left knee straight up to the ceiling. Press that left elbow to bring the left knee up. Just same thing we did on the other side. Take that left elbow, press to bring that knee across, keeping the left shoulder on the ground. And once you're there, relax. Oh, that relax will feel good. You'll stretch right out there. Now think, knee down, foot up. So notice the difference. Little pulses, that knee pulses in to the back of the hand. Super good, you guys. Now we're gonna straighten that leg out. 
you're straightening it out. It's like at that diagonal, you're stretching somebody's pulling you out there and then bring it back in little pulses. Outstanding. Now take that top knee over the bottom with your foot, feel around for the bottom foot, then bring your foot right next to it. Push in, think tuck under, and with the tuck, lift the knee. Ooh, feel that beautiful stretch on that hip. And then let it go, relax it. And then go ahead and let that leg come out and over. Now you're straddled out in that starting position. We're gonna go right into ladybug. Now ladybug is essentially that same move. I'll go kind of slowly and you just do your best. So I'm just gonna start with that right leg. I'm gonna press the right elbow in and I'm just gonna take it straight across. I'm not bringing it up. I'm bringing it straight across. I'm gonna pulse to the back of that palm and straighten. It's an in and a straighten. It's an in and then put that foot down. You might wanna feel the other foot, press that down. Let that knee come up and over. I always like to stop in the middle, feeling my lower back pressing both knees are out and then do the other side. Bring that left foot in, come up and touch the back of the hand and straighten. It's an in and a straighten. It's an in, then you touch the toe, press the out. I'm gonna go a little faster. Just bring the other one straight on over, bring it in, touch, straighten. In and straight. In, touch the toe, press up and over. No air space as you go over to the other side. And in and straighten. In and straighten. In, touch the toe. I'm just going to do it one more time each side. Up and over. In and straighten. In and straighten. Nice work, you guys. In, touch the toe. Open that knee, no air space as you bring the other one up and over. In and straighten. In and straighten. You think you can maybe get rid of a few inches in those thighs? Touch the toe and just let yourself hang there. Woo, aren't you ready to lift those knees up? I am, so bring them up, feet flat. Good, now I'm gonna show you, this is a beautiful stretch. I'm gonna go to here just so you can see this. So what you're gonna do is, Lift your heels so you're on the ball joints. You may need to bring your feet closer to the booty. Now, let the knees open out. Notice how you feel like you're on your little toes. Take your heels and press them forward. Ooh, so good. <laughs> Lift the heels back up. Bring the knees back straight on. We're just going to do it one more time. Open, press the heels. Lift the heels and bring those knees back up and drop it. Let's just do a quick number four stretch. Oh, this will feel so good on those hips. So that foot is over. And for some of us, you might want to just stay there, just pressing that knee away to get that stretch into that hip joint. Or if you want a little more, you can lift the bottom and maybe take that hip for a little bit of a ride over and around just to get rid of some of that good hip tension and drop. Switch, other side, press that knee away. Oh, yeah, right in that hip, huh? I could probably stay here about 10 hours, but I won't. We'll lift the bottom and take that hip for a ride both ways. Woo! The beautiful number four hip stretch. A classic. Undo, beautiful. Roll yourself over onto your side. Nice work, you guys. Come on up. Let's just do one final nice stretch. This is a stretch I really enjoy. See what you think. Um, just have one foot in front of the other. If this is available to you, if it's not, don't worry about it. Notice the front foot, like my toe is going over here to the right. So I'm going to come forward and over to the right. So I'm just going to allow myself to hang over. I'm going to bring my arms out as far as they're ready to go here to get a stretch there. And then I'm going to walk my hands over to that side. So what you'll feel is a good stretch on that front leg hip. Just a beautiful one. I love doing with, with the ball too. You roll the ball and then you can really play with it. But we're not doing ball today. Come back to the center. Use your hands. Bring yourself back up. And then, of course, we have to switch sides. So the other legs in front, going out as wide as you can. Do a bit of a wiggle. 
Come on over. Oh, here we go. Bringing those arms out. Oh, there's the challenging side. And then I'm going to bring it over to the other side. This is a beautiful hip stretch. It's a good one, really, that we could just stay in for a while and feel the stress on those deep connective tissues. But I'm not going to do that for this class. But feel free to stay in there and just stretch. And I'm going to go ahead and 